uh, in continuing with our series on radiology spotters today we'll discuss a neuroradiological spotter case where we will look at findings of valerian degeneration on mri so let us look at the first slide this is a mri image of brain in front of you which sequence do you think is this this is a mri of brain flare sequence how do we know this is flare sequence csf is dark and the white matter also appears dark csf is dark the white matter is also dark that means the brain has properties of t2 weighted image while the csf signal has been suppressed this is a flare sequence so where is the abnormality you can see there is a abnormality in the left mca territory this abnormality has dark areas with some white areas here so you have flare areas which are iso intense to csf and areas which are hyper intense and if you look at the lateral ventricle here look at the lateral ventricle and compare it with this this lateral ventricle is dilated so there is some ex vacuo dilatation of the ventricle with gliosis and encephalomalacia in this area so what are these findings pointing out to we are looking at a chronic infarct kind of a scenario so this patient has a old infarct in the left mca territory with ex vacuo dilatation of the ventricle and you have gliosis and encephalomalacia here now as we go down this mri now this is the area of the mid brain you can see the cerebral peduncle on the right side look at the cerebral peduncle on the left side cerebral peduncle is atrophied with t with flare hyper intense signal here you can see gliosis and cephalomalacia on the left mc territory still if i go down i can see flare hyper intensity even in the left pons and as i go down you can see slight flattening of the medulla here and you can see some hyper intensity here these findings are suggestive of valerian degeneration you can see valerian degeneration in the pyramidal tract secondary to the left mca territory old infarct in this patient so what is valerian degeneration valerian degeneration is a this degeneration that affects an axon and its myelin sheath after the connection with the cell body has been interrupted it is a progressive uh, process and it occurs over a period of months or weeks and in the end you see the atrophy of the neural channel a neural pathway that, like you see in this patient i hope you enjoyed the spotter series with us for more such spotter cases and ed medical education videos follow us on dams daily channel on youtube thank you